For more insight, let's cross live to Mr. Lawrence Ma in Hong Kong. He's the chairman of the Hong Kong Legal Exchange Foundation. So, Mr. Ma, President Xi Jinping said Hong Kong can only maintain its long-term stability and security by ensuring patriots administering Hong Kong. Tell us more about why this principle is so important to the city. Well, because the basic law allows Hong Kong's legislature to be elected uh, in the first place. And Western subversive power was trying to stack it with people who, who would listen to them and do what they, what they ask. So you see the Legislative Council in the past were very obnoxiously obstruct, obstructive towards the government. And the oppositions would veto almost whatever bills the government proposed. Now, legally, the old Legislative Council had abused its power and derailed from its proper conduct of meaningful and sensible debate. Now, in 2020, came the Patriots governing Hong Kong uh, uh, policy promulgated by the Central People's Government, uh, which was effectively cure this past problem. So all Legislative Council members now are Patriots and professionally and properly discharging their duties. Right. Uh, Lawrence, uh President of the Legislative Council, Andrew Leon, also said Hong Kong went through chaos. Uh, quote, some, uh, some people colluded with foreign forces to interfere with the Legislative Council. And now the LegCo has gone through obvious changes. What are the changes from your observations? Because it, it's roused uh, some debates. So how do you see those changes? Well, the, the, the implementation of Patriots governing Hong Kong policy requires a person who wishes to become a legislative councillor to go through a qualification check. The person has to fill in a form answering questions like whether he has any affiliation with foreign political parties or whether that person holds the British National Overseas BNO passport or whether he has previously received funding from foreign governments or organizations. So the person has to disclose in also information about his spouse. So this check-in will, will be conducted by a qualified uh, vetting committee chaired by senior, go senior government officials uh, with the advice, very importantly, from the National Security Branch of the Hong Kong Police Force. So this is the changes that has to be implemented or have been implemented uh, if you want to be a legislative councillor so that the um, um, pages governing Hong Kong policy can be implemented and, and, and performed um, fu functionally. Uh, Mr. Ma, uh, Britain and some other Western countries have pointed fingers at Chinese central authorities' decision to change Hong Kong's electoral system, saying the decision undermines the one country, two systems and threatens Hong Kong's high autonomy. Uh, wh what's your response to those Western accusations? Well, high degree of autonomy is not absolute autonomy. And those people wanting to use high degree of autonomy, which is guaranteed in the basic law, to seek Hong Kong's independence is definitely a no. This is not what high degree of autonomy is for. High degree of autonomy is for Hong Kong people to govern Hong Kong, and definitely not for Hong Kong people to claim independence from the People's Republic of China. Thank you very much, Mr. Lawrence Ma in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm.